What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. This is our first Phyrexia All Will Be One draft. So, who knows how it's going to go. But also, uh, Rob and I did a set review last week. So, if you guys haven't checked that out, be sure to check that out on my YouTube channel. And uh, <clears throat> I just mentioned how I think it's interesting that the premiere, premiere draft is seven rounds best of one. Why is that premiere? What makes it premiere? I prefer the traditional best of three, so that's what we're going to be doing today. If you guys absolutely hate best of three for some weird reason, definitely let me know in the comments. I would love to. Uh, I would love to know where people stand on this, but you know, I, I don't understand what's premiere about it, unless they're just using the term premiere loosely, like a lot of companies do, in order to like get your eyes there. They're like. It's premiere. But what's premiere about it? Exactly. Right, I prefer best of three as well. Um, I also think sets are designed with sideboard cards in mind. Like you always get cards that are like destroy an enchantment and artifact or a creature with flying, right? And that card's gonna shine after sideboarding, but it's rarely gonna be main deck. So I don't understand like, magic is not a game that's meant to be played best of one. It's, it's a game that has sideboards. It's a game that, ha that has cards that you want to play uh, in different matchups. You know, it's, it's not, it doesn't make sense to, best of one should not be the premier format. And I don't understand the benefit of that, I guess. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, cancel and we'll make them bigger. Razor Verge Thicket, that's nice. I would probably take that in real life, but not here. Gain control. This is um, ex basically experiment one. Viral spawning. This this card seems great. Uh, probably gonna take viral spawning here without even looking at the rest of the pack. Doom Traveler, plus two plus two to proliferate. Five five for six. Each opponent discards a card, and if they can't, you gain four. That seems good. Contagious Vorak also very very good. This is a three three that draws you a land. This is a three three that can be another three three. I think that's probably better. I think the prize support's actually similar between these two formats. I'm not positive, but I'm, I'll check after this round. Oh, Phyrexian Arena. Antibody, glad to hear it, buddy. Thanks so much for saying so. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Yeah, I think we're just gonna take Phyrexian Arena here. That seems bananas. Dude, these mites are so weird looking. I guess all the cards, all the Phyrexian creatures are weird looking, right? That's kind of their thing. Vraska's Fall. Each opponent sacks a creature or a planeswalker and gets a poison counter. Plus O, plus two, and toxic. So the green cards and the black cards in here are not great. Is this good? It's a 1-1 one, one flyer with Toxic 1. So it's basically a 2-2 two, two flyer. Tiger Nate, appreciate it, buddy. <laughs> uh, I think I'm just going to take this guy. We'll see what... Because we do want to... We do want to corrupt them, so to speak. Soulless Jailer. This art is fantastic. I just love it. It's very playful, but it's also really creepy. I guess we'll just take this. 3-1, you may search other for a mirror, put it in your hand, and shuffle. That's actually not terrible if we can get other any any other mirrors. It's like a creature or plant. This, this just seems bad. Like, like there's there's I feel like there's gonna be a lot of dirtily creatures that they're just gonna be willing to sacrifice. I'll just take the mirror tutor. That's that's unsettling art. No, don't like that. No, don't like that. Uh, two, two for two. Return it from a graveyard to the battlefield. You lose life. Dark creature gains death touch and indestructible. Sure, I think we'll just go with the two, two for two. I wish it was toxic, but one thing we noticed during the set review is that 
most if not all of the creatures that have corrupted do not have toxic they will not enable themselves two one for two things i want to enter the battle to try to replace the land reveal on the top draw two and lose two and each opponent gets a poison counter yeah that's good <laughs> Really got to be careful of our life total here. Jeez. As long as an opponent has three or more, it gets a double strike. That's fascinating. Why is that still in here? I mean, I'm tempted to take the 3 1 toxic for two. There's a lot of good white cards coming our way. And now I'm feeling kind of... S I'm just going to take this. Cruel Grimnarch. Is it Narch or Grimnark? I think it's Cruel Grimnark. Test my favorite 4 one when it dies with the top three, put one of them in your hand. So this is like... This is not bad. Like, it's a 4 one for 4 and it anticipates when it dies. That's interesting. Uh, are these any good, I wonder? if the, Are the spheres any good? There are so many teeth. You are not kidding. Yeah, I'll just take the Mere Custodian, because we can search for it. Money, 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 and a rock and a roll. Mm, whatever. Wow. <laughs> back to back veil of assimilations. That's kind of funny. Unctus, Grand Metatect. Never Metatect I didn't like, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, two, two for three, two, two for three, three oil counters. We have a counter. It gains target creature you control against flying, vigilance, death touch, or lifelink. That's actually pretty good. Contagious Vorak is nice. I do want to get some cards that gain life because, you know, we have Phyrexian Arena and Infectious Inquiry. And this guy also deals us damage if we uh, bring him back. So, I, I think Contagious Vorak might be the pick, but I also think this is seems really good because we can just give, you know, our 3-3 three, three lifelink or our 4-1 uh, or our 5-5. Five, five. We're going to take the Unctus, I guess. Okay, well, <laughs> guess it doesn't matter. Cool. <laughs> Should have paid more attention to the time instead of chatting about the cards. What a dummy. Four four haste toxic three for five. That seems really sweet. Look at the top six cards, put up to two lands onto the battlefield and the rest on the bottom. If you put fewer than two lands, proliferate the difference. That card's pretty decent. Uh, I think it's Annihilating Glare, actually. Yeah, that's just some of the best removal in the format, I would wager.
Sing Stinging Hive Master. 3-2 with Toxic 1. When it dies, create a 1-1. One, one. This is your typical... Um, like, this guy was also in, like, Ixalan making funguses. 6-7, six, Toxic 6. Can't be blocked by Creatures of the Power 2 or less. Or Infectious Bite. These are probably the two of the better cards in this pack. This card seems insane. And this card is just really, really good removal. I don't know, man. What do you guys think? Is it Bite or Paladin? I'm leaning towards Paladin here. We have seven creatures. Don't you need more duresses, though, for your collection? I think so. I think I do. Necrosquito. Flying for... Uh, it enters battle for two oil. It gets one of change oil. Whenever another artifact or creature controls put into a graveyard. Give it some oil. Oil it up. Exile a creature with mana value three or less. This card's very good. I think it's probably this one. I think that's probably better than Necrosquito. 2-2 two, two for 3, as long as the opponent has 3 more poison counters, a death touch and lifelink. Yeah, we're taking that. This guy's basically just a vampire nighthawk if they're corrupted. And that's what we want them to be. That's what we want. We just want them to be corrupted. Get corrupted, you know what I'm saying? Predation Steward enters battle for two oil counters. Target creature gets plus two, plus two as a sorcery. Plus three, plus three, and trample as a sorcery. I think we're just taking the Predation Steward just to take it. Just, it's just a two, two. <laughs> Whatever. Two two for two with toxic. I never trying to die. Uh, Necrogen communion seems really good. Also, keep in mind toxic stacks. So if we put it on a, a creature with toxic already, then it's just double toxic. Thirsting roots. Search for basic land or proliferate. Um, how's our twos and threes are looking? Are looking full. But unfortunately, that's the only only option here. I think we're just taking Stinging Hive Master. We have a good amount of removal so far, so. Uh, Ruthless Predation is pretty sweet. Kind of makes up for not taking the Infectious Bite. We can take out the two mirrors. Actually, we're only at 19 cards, I guess. 6-5 Reach Trample. It can be blocked by Creatures of Flying. Or 4-4... Four, four, How's our five drop slot? How's our five drop slot looking? Non-existent. Sounds good. This is only pack two. We get a whole other pack after this. Oh my god. That doesn't seem correct. Hmm. Playable skull bomb. Wow, that's crazy. I mean, I was hoping for, like, a Thrun or a, the, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> That's his name. What does that do? Whenever another creature controls put a graveyard from the... Put a, put a, four oil counters, turn a creature from the graveyard of the maps. That's too much work, man. I think it's literally just another anoint with Affliction. I mean, presuming... Presuming we can corrupt them, this card is just exile a creature for two mana. Blue Sun's Twilight. That's it is too much work. It's just so much work. Uh gain three, and if you control permanent then draw a card. Yeah, let's do that. Better than that. Oh, battle chair seems insane. Wow, that's really sweet. Um Oh yeah, that's definitely the pick. Noxious Assault any good? 
I don't know, but it's like probably the best card for us in this pack. 4-3, two oil counters. You remember one oil counter? Untap it and it gets plus. So it's a, it's a Vigilant 5-4 attacker, basically. Yeah, I'm just going to take this. I don't know if we're going to play it, but we'll see. It's nice to have. Contagious of Vorak, that's pretty sweet. Um, glad to pick up one. Also don't mind Shieldred's Head Cleaver, but I think three drops probably out of here. Another Annihilating Glare? 4-4 four, for four, four, 5, when it enters the battlefield or dies, proliferate. That's decent, but I think we're going to take the Glare. Term of expanse, I guess. It's fine. Just unexciting. Oh, uh, you can ask me a question about paper cube now. You don't have to wait. In fact, it lets me think about it. Uh Necrogen Communion, sure. That again, huh? I'll take another Grimnark. Are we going to play two? Probably not. All right, so now we can definitely take out the mirrors. Uh, sure. Just want to know how often you get to play and the number of people you usually play with. Uh, never and eight. I've literally drafted my Vintage Cube once in the past, like, two years. Forty-one cards. Not bad. Not bad. It, uh, it, yeah, it was with you, actually. That's true, because you, yeah, you, you visit us in California. That's true. How many creatures is this? Gotta be like 16, right? 13? Might have to take out a removal. Might take out this infectious increase. Actually, I like them getting a poison counter. That's kind of nice. Oh, we can take out Vraska's Fall. That's an easy cut. This deck is kind of expensive. Got double Grimnarch. I got three six drops and a seven drop. I wonder if one Grimnarch can come out for something else. Grimnark? Grimnark. Yeah, I think we cut one of those and probably just put an offer immortality in. All right, let's do it. Let's uh let's wager on how many times the arena interface will will screw us over here.
Oh boy. Oh boy. Um, you know what? I'll keep it. We're on the draw. They wouldn't possibly give us another land, so that's that's good. Yeah, they didn't. Exert your attackers. Yes. Exert them. Oh, they didn't play anything. Little bagok bagok. And he's dead. Good times. Fascinating. No blocks, as you might expect. I'm gonna lower the audio here. It feels like it's loud. Even though it's on 10%. I guess we can go to five. That's kind of funny. Huh. Well, hmm. That's almost too low now. Guess we're gonna we're gonna try seven. Huh. Next. Or attacks you with that player gets an additional poison counter, so I get three. Well, shooty patootie. Seems good. Oh, good. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, we need one more green or anything that costs five or less. I think we're dead. Cool. Your your spells were Hex Gold Slash, Volt Charge, Volt Charge, Vorak, Uncommon Rare. Sounds good. Good times. And we had one, two, three, four, five, six. Like, look at all the two and three drops we had. I'm gonna take communion out and put in Vraska's fall. That feels like it might be better.
We got Arena. I'll keep this. We also have a two drop, so. And a Vorak if we hit a green. This hand seems like it's okay. Oh, beautiful for spacious skies. For amber waves of grain. Gonna cast this Phyrexian Arena. It's gonna bring me lots of pain. Don't you see the pain? So I'm actually gonna play Vorak first because we have things to do. Uh, yep, yeah, cool. Oh no, not my little guy. I like that it has just a one to represent toxic. That's kind of funny. Um, so. I think we're just attacking here. Sure. Okay. Jesus Christ. Fucking unbelievable, dude. Uh. <laughs> Remember, I, I was like, oh, I feel like I'm doing really good here. Just kidding. So three, four, we put them to seven, but then we die. They're probably just gonna play a land double volt charge on my guy, make this a six, six. Their hand's probably three volt charges. Cool. God, I was so excited to play this format, and then I realized it was not great, right? Like, first round, I'm kind of not thrilled about it. <laughs> oh, God. So, you know, there's that, I guess. Is their last card removal? Hmm, possibly not. Let's take that life linker. Well, we're still alive, so that's a thing. This guy doesn't have haste, right? <laughs> okay, good. I was like, oh no, did I just miss an attack? Pass two attackers. Yeah, let's get that. Ooh, yeah, let me get that. Let me get that Frexian Arena life back, boy. Oof. Feels good. Okay. All right. So we've survived. That's decent. 
I'm going to take out one Dross Pit and add another... Add another Swamp. How do I... Can I just click it? Okay, good. I was like, I don't want to go look for that exact Swamp just to make my OCD satisfied. Oh, uh, Vorak makes me want to keep this hand. Beautiful. So EOT, they Volt Charge, put us up to three counters, attack us, put us up to five. And we whiff. That's kind of hilarious. And Volt Charge. Oh my god. It's actually worse because now we still know they have like three Volt Charges in their deck somewhere. Combat trick? Plus three, plus one, sure. Fascinating. Volt charge, attack for four. This is just an ambassador oak, right? It makes that th it's a three three that makes a one one. I guess we're just trading here. Okie dokie. Six six trample seems decent. I'm sure they'll kill it. That's okay. That's not it. Interesting. Does Volt Charge hit face? I bet it does. Yep, so we're just dead. Oh, it definitely does. So we, what we can try to do is draw the card that gives us... I guess that doesn't even do it, though, because... 
we wouldn't have anything else on the board. So we gain six, we go to nine, which would really go to seven. They deal us four and we still take three. So I think we're just dead to Volt Charge. Yep, cool. Never don't have it. Keep. Snap, keep. Ha <laughs> uh, Yep. To the surprise of no one. You're asking about the hex plate? I don't know what that means. What hex plate? Dude, this is for mono removal. This is wild. I mean, this is a two turn clock, awkwardly. I think it's, they go to seven, right? Oh my god. It's like if they don't have an answer to this guy, they just die? What in the earth? And that's game. <laughs> what in the earth? Oh my god, dude. I don't know what to make of this format. The games I'm winning also don't feel great. The R shock does four to a toxic creature. Hex plate. Is that a card? It's not hex plate. It's hex gold something. Hex gold. Hex gold slash. Oh good, another one lander. Fantastic. I'll keep it because we have two drop, three drop that draws cards and it's likely we might hit a land. Thank you. I don't know. Oh, Fatal Roundhouse. Thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate you, my dude. The Mr. Yuck? I don't even know what that is. There's land, look at that. No, no swamps though, unfortunately. Cool. <laughs> Oh boy, we're having a good time. All right, let's go to the next game. These have been good games. These have been really interactive, strategically intense games.
The old time green sticker parents have put on household islands so change. I have no idea. I've, I don't think I've ever heard of that. I will keep this hand. Boy, oh boy. Let's see if they got duress all three games. What are you, toxic one? Proliferate when it dies, sure. Play this guy and we'll throw a dross pit down for you. Probably gonna block here. They have nothing to proliferate, so it's... Sure. Maybe I don't, actually. If they just, if they just attack now, we're probably gonna just take it. This saucy gentleman. Three, four, huh? Well, well, well. The toxic gains toxic one. So your toxics get toxic air. One, two, three, four black to two green. I'll get a green. One, two, three, four, five. Well, we have enough mana to cast this guy at least. You know, when the time comes. Uh, so we don't have anything else to do right now, so I guess we're just going to do this. But maybe don't use all my green to do it, huh? Oof, you don't have three? Ugh, that's frustrating. Fascinating. Well, I don't want to sack either of these guys. So I guess we're just going to no attacks here. Zedrake, what up, buddy? Good seeing you, my dude. Nothing, huh? Alright, well, drop this guy like it's hot, I guess. Can we 2 1 here? The entire draft, rather, not the match. But also the match, I guess. So, uh, no attacks. So this guy can't block here. And they only have green mana. So. Now he can block. Fascinating. What does it say? If it's, if the is just toxic, then you hex proof until end turn, sure. They didn't have a permanent with an oil counter, so that's good. Death touch and indestructible. Oh boy. Oh boy. Get in there, daddy. Do I get a triple block out of this? No, just a double looks like. <gasps> Pretty, 
pretty, pretty, pretty, pretty good. Was that a four for one? This guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy? Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh boy. Is this just Alpha City? Choose an additional cost, pay for. Wow. What a battle. We're on round three already. Wow, this 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 format is quick. Holy smokes. I mean, even if you're... See, the problem with formats is, like... With bad formats is that, like, even when you're winning, it doesn't feel great. Like, I feel like those matches were kind of... Every... Every match I won or lost was a blowout in either direction. How are you liking the new set? It's funny you mentioned that. Uh, I think this set is cool. I'm not sure how much I love the limited environment. Let's play first. Communion on this guy actually seems decent. Like, it's just such a fast clock. I guess if they bounce it, it's not as good. And as a blue deck. Let's see what we got here. What does this guy do? Toxic. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Like, I just want to do this because it turns on corrupt. So, like, now all our... All our corrupts are online. However, that guy does... I can make him a 2-3. It's not very big, though. And now he has stopped in his tracks. But all of our removal spells are online, so that's nice. No blocks. Oh, I'm gonna counter this. Oh boy, I'm a counter spell bad. Oh, look at me go. No blocks. Let's try to draw something that's not a land here. That'd be cool, I think. Okay, we did it. I'm gonna counter this. I have the two mana counter spells. They didn't have it, I guess. Each of them is gonna draw a card, sure. Boy, they're really going to town with their cards. That's fascinating.
That seems good. You're at nine poison. Yogi dogi. That's interesting. I feel like I just pass here. What does this guy do? When it enters battlefield, unless you sing it, it's my master. Sure. Like, they have to deal with this guy next turn? Yeah, that's good. Wow, that's really good. You're doing really well for yourself. Can we draw the card that gives them a poison counter? Because that would be cool. That's kind of like it, right? They're going to kill this guy. Uh, pay four. No attacks. Had a feeling you'd do that, but now the only guy that you can get by is the 6-6. Six, six. Man, I feel like we were doing really well. <gasps> and we still are. <laughs> Alright, see you later. That's what we were hoping for. Good lord, man. That was hilarious. Hilarious. Um, all their creatures seem good. I feel like Vraska's Fall's probably fine. And I'll just 41 it like a maniac. This feels like a keep. But if we can get any kind of two drops that our deck has plenty of, that would be nice. I think I just want to kill this. Maybe not. I don't know. I'll kill it EOT, actually. Um, actually, that seems more obnoxious. Exile creature if it has mana back three or less. This dude do. Okay, that's good. So now we have a 4 drop, 5 drop, 6 drop. That seems great. Oh wow. That's just a 2 3 for 4 with with for 3 with no with no artifact. Fascinating. Wow. Uh, regular swamp here because I do want to play six drop on curve. Thank you. Get busy crushing. Would you be willing to take two hundred dollars <laughs> work with me? <laughs> Solid reference. What up, Shuagarn? Thank you for the reset, buddy. I appreciate you, my dude. 
Uh, does this guy death touch? No. I guess we're attacking here. Sure. This seems good. I feel like we're in good shape here. Also, with the fact that they did not have a response and it seemed like magic, uh, it seemed like Arena just sped through their... Okie dokie. 2-1. <laughs> not bad for our first draft. And literally only a minute, an hour and seven minutes. That seems good. Oh yeah, what we were going to do was check the difference in prizes. So, 1,003, that seems fine. But if you win, you get 2,500, six packs. That's significantly different. Um, whereas if you are in traditional, or uh, rather, premier. So, in order to get 1,000 a thousand gems and three packs, you only have to have three wins. That's interesting. In order to get 2,500, you cannot even get 2,500 gems. So the 3-0 prize for the traditional draft is better than the 7 win prize in the premier draft. However, the 2-1 prize is equivalent to the... is almost equivalent to the 3 win prize. So it's interesting. Like, the other one's more top-heavy. This one is just a better... If you just have a better average record, um, if you can get like five wins or anywhere between like four and seven wins, this is going to pay for itself. I also, I don't know. The last time I checked, best of three was not ranked. I don't know if they've changed that. But as you can see, uh, these do get, well, I guess it's not this one. I was going to the wrong one, but I assume they would still do it. This one gives you play-in points to enter qualifiers so you know it feels like if you're giving points to enter qualifiers you're acknowledging the format's importance or skill I guess you know what I mean like it's like you're not going to give pro points out at FNM because it's not a premier level event but this is a this should be the premier draft not the not the other one but whatever Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Hope you guys liked this draft. Let me know what you think of this format. Really would love to hear your thoughts, and uh, we'll catch you next time.